What's up, everybody? Tiki here. Got my boy Mario and motherfucking Joe right here. Going Hail Satan! Yeah. <laughs> and we're drinking in the day. Fucking weird, right? My windows are fucking open. Anyways, uh, Mario, what are we gonna be reviewing today? All right, so I've had this beer for like six weeks. Um, <laughs> I, I've been going to this EMT class, so I haven't actually had time to drink it. Let, let's, re let's rephrase that. He hasn't been drinking for six weeks. We've just held on to this beer for six weeks. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, this is a six-week-old beer. But, um, there was two of them, I drank one of them, but, <laughs> <laughs> but this, it, I'm pretty sure it's still good, it's Yeti, peanut butter stout, I remember when I drank it, it was really good, and, uh, hopefully it's still good, and, six and, weeks from now. And this is my cardigan. This is my cardigan, oh. It's gonna be good. Yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna have alcohol, so it's, it's gonna... Be, be fucking good. Yeah, so also, it, it can be good, all right? It, it can depicted be good. on the cover, if you haven't noticed, for you uh, slumdog losers out there, this Sasquatch has a top hat and a cane and gloves, mind you. Yeah, it's Mr. Look Peanuts. Out, Mr. Peanuts. Yep, Mr. Peanuts, Joe, like ugly ass cousin. <laughs> why don't you go ahead and pour it for us, Joe? Absolutely. Oh, hey, uh, what's that place we got today? It was in Big Bear. I don't know, but fuck you. You lied to us. Oh, yeah. So, uh, this yeah. place. No, all right, so this place in Big Bear, we got this fucking, Ooh. uh, mead, right? Yeah. They're like, oh, yeah, if you go down the hill, it's gonna cost you, like, you know, $40. Down the hill, I it's like fucking 25 It costs us 35 at the fucking place. It yeah. actually costs less. Down yeah. Here. Yeah, so you know what? Place in Big Bear, I was supposed to give you a shout out, but. I'm not giving you a shout out now because you fucking screwed us on the price. You fucking lied to us! You fucking liars! What did you get for lying? Mine has less, so mine deserves more. It deserves more. And what's, uh... What's left in there? Is it a enough. little bit less than this? Put it in this one. Yeah. And then we'll fight for the death. Trial by fire? Yep. Okay. Uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> so, this goes to the testament of the can, on the back of the can, the Great Divide, right? Yeti lives in a world of pure imagination where nothing is out of the realm of possibility. If the Yeti can dream it, Great Divide can brew it. For this savory entry into the esteemed Yeti series canon, we've created a dark chocolate peanut butter cup in a can. This signature flavors of Yeti are complemented by the nuttiness of everyone's favorite spread. It's peanut Nutty. butter Yeti time! Hell yeah. That's fucking corny, but you know, it, hey, it works. Hey, where is it from? We gotta, we gotta it's from the uh, Great Divide. Denver... Colorado. I'm not the best reader. But <laughs> read that. What, where is it? Did where you? It? It? it doesn't matter if I can't fucking read. Today, right? Junior. <laughs> Today, Junior. I I know how to drink. This isn't a reading channel. Yeah, that's why we have you here. This is a reading channel. <laughs> I know how to read. Okay, it's from Denver, Colorado, from a brewery called uh, Great Divide. Great Divide, yeah. Great Divide Brewing Company. I just want you guys to know I can read. Just not very well or out loud. Readings for rich people. The readings for rich people. You just can't be in front of cameras, dude. You, you'll be alright, man. It's Wait, does it have the name of the place there? Wait, what? Where oh, we bought where the you shit? Bought it? Uh, no. Great. No, uh, no it just has a cool slogan. Green Minds. You know what? I'm not Great gonna Minds. Get, I drink will milk. not let you get away with this. Yeah, you know what? That's right. Like, hey, hey, put the, put the porn tab away. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? Uh, Yuhao delivery. <laughs> Man, why do they put? All right, I like the beer. It's just a lot of reading to do on the back. <laughs> so if you're not, if you're like me, and you're not a great beer guy. Just like the cans, the the artwork is cool. The reading, it's a lot of words. So don't. Wait, hold on. Hurry up, dude! Find the name. Well, he's trying to do a public service to the people who go into Big Bear for winter stuff. You're getting called out, you fucking store. Yeah, that's right, you fucking store. This shit was like twelve ninety nine there too. Holy fuck! <laughs> Wait, what was for? I mean, holy freaking right? flapperjack! Don't don't demonetize us, please. <laughs> uh, what was it? The uh, <gasps> home of the hangover. Home of the hangover. That's what it. That's the name was. of the liquor store. Yep, that's uh, the liquor store. Wait, what was it? wait, fucking pause. Bleep and pause. Sorry. No, wait. It was home. No, what I gotta do? It was, it was home of the hangover. Home of the hangover. Look, we appreciate what you provide, and yes, you do have tasty stuff there. But please don't lie to us when we're asking you for stuff, and we're asking you on information that pertains to a channel that gives valuable information to alcoholics just like us. So please, because another alcoholic will go up there and pay the prices that you're telling us to pay because you said what you said. I went to fucking Bevmo in Brea, Orange County, of all places and found the meat there for $10 less. It's not much, but it's still not what you said. 
damn right. What's it called again? Because that's a pretty sweet name for a liquor store. Home of the saying. Hangover, that is badass. Yeah, that is badass. Hangover. I'm you're, just saying, I, I get it, man. You're up on a mountain, so it probably takes like a while to get stuff to you. But don't lie about your prices. You're in Big Bear, okay? You're not in fucking Hawaii. You don't need a carrier to come up to you with a carton of cases and all this other shit, okay? You're in Big Bear. There's a highway just above San Bernardino. Do not fucking try to impress anybody here. That's right. And you know what? We're bleeping a lot of stuff out. So sorry about that. <laughs> all right. Let's try this out. Cheers, Cheers. boys. Mm. I had to put my pinky out for this one. Oh, my Ooh. God. That is actually pretty good. This is so good. Yeah, and six weeks old too. <laughs> I want you to know this guy. This is a six week old beer. It tastes like six, like five weeks. So when you oh, buy it, leave it in your fridge for six home. weeks and then drink it. Uh -huh. It comes out better. It, it's like me. It gets better with age. Or like cheese. Cheese. <laughs> cheese and rice. Uh, cheese and so rice. So I would definitely have this after dinner, probably with like a cigar or for you smokers out there. If you have a... If you're a cigarette kind of guy, um, you can probably have this with your, you know, with with, with your fag. And uh... don't demonetize us for talking about cigarettes. <laughs> Dude, it's like it's really chocolatey. This is for our English listeners. It's really chocolatey. Yeah, you can definitely taste the nuttiness in this shit. Yeah, it this, shit is, this shit is so good, dude. Yeah, you can really, you really taste it. Does the taste like, oh man, the nuttiness is just it's spe intense. Spe you spectacular. Guys take it easy. Uh, yeah, the, the roasted, like oh, the roasted getting, flavors getting of it. Flustered over there or something? Yeah, freaking flapper jacket. Yeah, because I want to down this, but it's our last beer. <laughs> so it does have a really good roasted nuttiness to it. Um, you can taste like a little bit of a little bit of coffee in there. Yep. Yeah, a bit of that coffee. dark roast. Uh, but yeah, I, I definitely advise you drink this um, probably after you have some heavy food because there's no way you're going to be able to eat or drink this and eat a steak at the same time. Yeah, hell no. I challenge you. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? That, we should make that a challenge. If you could, I want to see it, our viewers. If you could drink a whole Yeti while eating a giant steak. Tomahawk. You, yeah, dude, you are the manliest person or the womanliest person. <laughs> it's tomahawk 40 on steak. Yeah, Tomahawk 40 on steak plus I, a Yeti. You can eat that. Normally? I, yeah. <laughs> uh, I had it at the ranch in Anaheim when I went for that Christmas dinner. Is that why you're not allowed back? Wait, isn't that no, where I had to pick you up in Newport because you were drunk? For many reasons. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about that, man. For many reasons, I'm bad from there. But... I had to pick you up in Newport. You're fucking hammered. <laughs> but fucking, you know, you know Tomahawk Joe. steak, do 40 ounces. That show is fucking delicious. Joe, I don't know where I am. I'm by the beach, though. I'm really drunk. <laughs> Save me. That sounds like a fictional scenario. For so those of you guys who know Caesar, does that sound fictional? Or does that sound like a Tuesday? Leave your something in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> also, oh, I know that guy. You, you owe me a tip. <laughs> you owe me a tip. Hey, hey, I know that asshole. <laughs> I know that guy. Like I pretended he was puking in the back seat just so he could stop for jacking the box. <laughs> hey, I know you. You always order three pieces of cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Rob Schneider if you ever see this. Dude, Rob Schneider is like my favorite, like fucking. I met him at Medieval Times when I was working there. Wait, Rob Schneider? I worked at Medieval Times. Is, is he the guy from. You uh, don't know who Rob Schneider is? I think. Well, who's Rob Schneider? I know. Yeah, that. cut this freaking head off! You know the animal? animal? Oh, that's, that's Rob Schneider? That's Rob Schneider! Oh, yeah. Rob Schneider's the man. I love Rob Schneider. That guy's like the best, like fucking. Like, you can do it! Yes! yes. Oh, yes. hell. Well, yeah. wake her up! We have a game to win! <laughs> <laughs> we have a game to win tomorrow! <laughs> Bite this freaking head off! Look okay, at little Nikki. Yeah, yeah. Girl, okay. in the shower tonight. Uh, no, okay. No, no. But back to this delicious stout. It is delicious. Yeah. Out of all the stouts that you guys try, what do you guys what, rate this? Uh, this is a solid. Out of ten. Six. Out of ten. This is a six for me. Six? Oh, yeah. see, this is like an what? eight for me. Really, a six? It's good, but I I've definitely had a better one. Uh, see for me, this is like eight because like I like I like the really dark coffee flavors of anything. Yeah, drink a fuck ton of coffee. We really a lot of coffee. Shit. Dark we have more beer. Ooh. We forgot about the other ones <laughs> in the car. Wait, what do you mean? There, we have a, me and Marv are holding the case of beer. Oh. Anyways, yes, there's a, a six for me just because I I have had other stouts, but amongst. The same flavor palette as this, the whole peanut butter, um, you know, dark roastedness that comes with it. The only other one that I can put up against this is Belching Beavers oh, uh, awesome. Nitro Peanut Butter Stout, Ooh. which is phenomenal. Damn, let me catch you getting it. Fuck. <laughs> which is phenomenal. 
it's a really, I mean, Nitro just has more flavor in my opinion. Um, I would still pick that beer over this one, but this is a very close second, and uh, it's, it's drinkable. It's not like really heavy syrupy. It, it just, the carbonation kind of hits after. Yeah, the and, taste kind of stay, stays in your mouth. Yeah. The after taste just stays in your mouth, but for the most part, it clears out. A quick. little, I give this a little under 7 out of 10, like 6.8. This is, it's a good stuff. I, I, I like it. I like it, yeah. It's I, dark I for sure. Drink it. really good. As you guys know, I've reiterated many times the, about this, is me only drinking stouts in the mountains. And, uh, you know, when I, I'm up there doing uh, you know, lumberjack shit. But when I'm not, and it's just, you know, the season, very seasonal, man, I will drink this stout uh, about any other place, including the mountains. Uh, during the winter seasons because it, it's very drinkable and it's easy going. Yeah, see, yeah. I, I have such a high rating because I've, I've waited so long to drink this. Because you're a loser. And, alright, like, I, you know how much coffee I drink in a day? It's insane. <laughs> like, my heart is, like, super gnarly because it hasn't died yet and I drink a lot of coffee. And this tastes <laughs> a lot like coffee. And since I drink so much coffee and this tastes like coffee, this is like an 8 for me. So good. Uh, and real quick, Shout out to Kenya for the fucking what, what do we call this? The flipping flapper jacket. <laughs> uh, so that's a beer, flight. beer tasting. That's a beer flight. Yeah, beer flight tasting wooden thing that she gave me. Wait, uh, she yeah. didn't give you the glass? No, she didn't. No, it's a, you know what? It's like oh yeah, it's a five piece. I'm like, where, it's a beer flight. Fifth? Yeah, it is. I'm like, where the hell is the fifth glass? But you know, it's the wood. That's the fifth. Piece. Mm. I'm also not much of a counter. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> This is America. I pick up whatever beer is there. Yep. And you know what? Like, I'm not much of a reader, but I can imagine if I was, and like I was drinking this and reading a book, it would be very uh, hmm. cool. Yeah. Highly right. entertaining. Highly entertaining, yes. Uh, so for my easy drinkers out there, my wine drinkers, everyone who likes to take, uh, I don't know, I guess small small sips, quaffs, if you will, of their, you know, of their swill. This is definitely one of those beers where you can hang on to it for a good amount of time and the flavor just it intensifies. It gets a little bit better. And you could read, you know, get a good read, get a nice book, maybe hang out a little bit. Um, hang out is what I'm saying. If you wanted to pair a stogie with this, mm -hmm. a good little one hour Maduro, it'll pair really nicely because the beer is going to hold on to its flavor and it won't get flat on you. Uh, it's just, it's, it's really good. It's, you can really, really sip on this for a while. And uh, for you babysitters out here, this is your safe beer. You can hang on to this and argue the point that this is a beer that you you enjoy. This isn't a beer that you destroy. Yeah, exactly. That's the smart oh, way to fuck. put it. Flipper Flapper Jack. It's actually a uh, 9.5% alcohol. So I won't be seeing you guys later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like an IPA, you know? Like, like what's that one IPA? It's like the easy drinking IPA. Or um, every day... Uh, Every day, every day, I drink it every day. Yeah, every day uh, IPAs are like what, five point six percent or something? Crazy. They're a little higher. Uh, they're like sevens. Uh, Sculpin, Sculpin's really good. Sculpin is like the pinnacle of IPAs. There, it's like the go-to for uh, for most regular beer drinkers that aren't really crafty into their whole, you know, into this whole underworld of, of beers and shit like that. Have you tried um, Sculpin is definitely a, a really good IPA. Uh, made by Ballast Point, by the way. So shout out to them. Because they make phenomenal beer. And hey. shout out to, what is this company called? Divide. Great Divide? Great Divide. Divide. Great Divide. Thank you, Great Divide, for making this yummy I like the Yeti. Stout. I like the Yeti. Yeah, Yeti. You know what? It makes me feel super fancy. And if I was a reader, I would definitely drink this for <laughs> Real reading. quick, I have a little bit of, um, I guess, uh, trash talk. What was the name of that, that beer that we bought up there? That other one? The... Uh, uh, black is beautiful. Is that what it is? Black yeah. is beautiful. Yeah, black is beautiful. Yeah. Your beer. This has nothing to do with the color or the race. Your beer tastes like shit. It doesn't taste very good. So quit gassing it up, cause your beer I is shit. It, you know, it tastes like soil. We will. We will bring some for you. To you know try. what? We're gonna review it. We're gonna review it, and I, for whoever wants to try it, I will personally buy you a pint. <laughs> this is how much. This is how bad I think it, it's going to be. Because after the first person, no one else is going to have the balls to drink this beer. But other than that beer, this Yeti beer is delicious. It's, yeah, this it's, is really it's good. It's really good. Chocolatey, a lot of, lot of nut, nutty. 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 Don't, hey, don't be saying it like that, bro. It's, uh, <laughs> it's got a full body taste to it. Definitely, it's got, it, there's no, uh, 
there's no gaps missing where you think that the beer is going to come in with a different type of taste. It definitely, definitely all hits you all at once. And, uh, and like I said, I, I definitely recommend to someone who's uh, more of an easy sipper, who's going to enjoy this. Um, I would also say that opposed to it being chilled, I would probably drink this at room temperature too. It'd probably taste just as great. Yeah. 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 yeah you know what? It, it, uh, when I once it like tasted it and it was really cold, I was like, mm, like I feel like I drink, I could drink this shit warm. Yeah. No, yeah. It's a, it's a good imperial stout. Well, that concludes this video for a stout beer review of the peanut butter Yeti. You know what? I didn't even. I just said it was a lot more nutty. I didn't really. You guys get peanut butter off of this shit? I yeah. got a little peanut butter. Yeah, yeah. It fucking know. says it right there. Yeah, no, I know, but I didn't really. Oh, well, well, I, I got the. It. I, I got the peanut butter. I can, I can more like nutty. No, I get. Well, I mean, yeah, the nut, peanut nut. butter. And you know, peanut peanuts and nut. No, you know, yeah, for sure, but. not nut. Peanut butter Yeti stout, delicious beer. I give it like a six point eight out of ten. So, like a lot of people around here don't really drink stouts. I feel like you guys should you guys should drink more stouts. They don't know enough about it, and that's what we're here to explain to them. Yeah, drink yeah, more yeah. stouts. So, drink more you guys stouts. are watching this. Look up stouts. If you go to like your local, you know, liquor store, put look for the stouts. Modelo down. Yeah, oh, yeah that's is, exactly what I was gonna say. Put the Modelo down because it's really starting a popular our time, culture. Modelo time isn't. It's it's all over. Time. Modelo yeah, time drink is some over. Drink some stouts. It's it's time to broaden your fucking palate. And taste some new things and start doing some pairings and you can understand what flavor really means. Except for the bullshit tacos and modelo. Which is great, but not every weekend, you fucking animals. Stop it. It's kind of hard because we have like a, a lot of good taco spots in the area. I know. I okay. kind of wanted some this morning. And I was like, why the fuck am I thinking about tacos at 8 in the morning? Because they're good. <laughs> Anyways... Please, you guys, like and subscribe. If you like our shit, just go ahead and subscribe. It's Stuff. like somewhere like down, down right here. Also, somewhere. if you'd like to do a call out, if anyone wants to call either one of us out to a drinking competition, we're taking those oh, out. Yeah, that, those are very welcome. Yeah, those, those are welcome. welcome. <coughs> if any of you guys think you want to throw in your, your gas and like, oh, this guy doesn't like Modelo. Oh, my God. I'm going to fucking not drink him. Try it. Okay? I've been in fucking prison. Try it. For like. <laughs> For like a day, too busy, <laughs> too busy your uncle, I think. <laughs> Still <dudes>. there. <laughs> Still there. <laughs> Enough of this fucking beer shit. You guys want to take a shot? Fuck, Let's yeah. take a shot. Let's do this for America. Can you grab that? Yes. So it has two handles on the side. You see that? No, 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 no. The, the whole thing. Grab the whole thing. Oh, oh fuck. Grab the whole oh. thing. The whole fucking plastic. What, what happened? Hold what this. Happened? Hold what this. Oh, shit. Is it broken? No. Don't break it, please. Okay, okay, I'll do it. I'm holding it with both my hands. As gently as I was holding my own scrotum. It's a really cool decanter. Yeah, yeah, this is fucking sick. I Dude, like I don't it. even know what the word means. Uh, it's fancy word for hold my whiskey. Oh, how do you spell that? Uh, okay. D-E-C, uh, um, canter. Anter. Oh. Look, it spins. So fucking That's cool. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, it's shout a out to my girlfriend, dude. Fucking love her. Do you uh, know how to uh, pour a shot? It's one no, finger. Yeah, no, 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 one finger. Uh, get the, get the, uh, oh, cool. You have a That was a present from my, uh, my buddy Gio. Went to Vancouver. There you go. What? That's what's up. Canadians are like Americans. Hey, so what's this flavor? root paste? Oh, uh, yeah, my girlfriend makes that. Dude, my girlfriend's like fucking one of all trades and shit. Dude, that's awesome. Chilito paste. Sandia flavor? Yeah, yeah, she does melon too. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. <sighs> I feel so fancy. I've never had anything out of a decanter before. <sighs> that's be Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna. That one's Mario's. Oh yeah. Okay. I feel like I feel de decanterated. Decanted. Decanted. Uh, this is Johnny Walker, right? Yeah, Johnny Walker. Good. Johnny Cheers, Walker. Nice. Cheers. Thanks for coming through for the beer. <sighs> Just immediately think about Vegas. Well, that's so smooth. Smoky. I don't know. Why, the, usually, you know, when I take a shot, I'm like. But like this makes me feel like. Oh no! This cost. <laughs> this is more than fifteen dollars. Yeah. This, oh. This is like around thirty dollars. Oh wow! Yep. It is worth every penny. Oh, this one. You guys should really try this one too. Not, Jesus not, Christ! Not, can I have a not, soda at least? 